Hello guys! It is Christmas. Well, it's not actually Christmas because it's not Christmas Day today. But I'm at that period over the festive season when I don't know what my name is, who I am, where I am, or what day it is. Does anyone else get that? Um, so today I thought I would film a what I got for Christmas. You know when you just feel a bit like a piece of cheese or a cheeser and you're like, oh my goodness, I literally don't know what day it is. Um, I'm in that stage of the Christmas period. Um, so I thought I'd film what I got for Christmas and birthday because it's my birthday on the 22nd. Now I know these videos are incredibly controversial, people just hate them or people love them, but you guys asked me to do them so I thought I'd go for it and just do one. A little bit of a disclaimer, I hate that I have to do this, but I'm obviously incredibly grateful for every single thing I got. I actually didn't ask for anything this year because we had such a horrendous Christmas last year, my brother's been really ill for a year, and honestly last Christmas was just heartbreaking, it was really 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 awful, um, so I just, I just this year I was just like, I just want everyone to be well and happy, um, but my family are sneaky and decided to surprise me with a few incredible things that I literally can't believe. Um, so the good news is we actually had a bit of a happier Christmas this year, which to me meant everything. It really isn't about what's under the tree, it's about who's around it. Um, and I really acknowledge this year the people that kind of kept us safe during the Christmas period. I got a DM on Instagram from one of my followers and she's a police lady, how amazing is that? And she was on shift for like the whole of Christmas, kind of like the people that deliver babies. I'm a Christmas baby so someone was working to deliver me. Um, and I just think it's really nice, I think it's nice to think about those people. Also my friend Dean passed away um, this year so I did feel sad on Christmas Day because I was like it's just not fair, like I don't really care about presents. Um, but it's nice to just kind of spend time with your loved ones um, and also I know there are a lot of other things, worse things going on in the world. I know last year a lot of bloggers got stick for doing this video because people were kind of like well you know there's more things going on in the world but I know that I get that and that's why this year I did a lot of charity work um, to just kind of try and give something back so I hope that fits as a bit of a disclaimer. I hate that I need to do that but if you aren't interested in these videos, or if you're just going to leave a nasty comment or be negative, then just don't watch, don't ruin your Christmas if my voice annoys you or if my greasy hair annoys you, just don't bother like getting yourself annoyed this Christmas, just switch off and go and watch something that makes you happy. Happiness is key guys. Okay then, so let's talk about what I got for Christmas. I'm going to start with this because it's very 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 special, it came wrapped up, technically it's not a present, it's more of like a plaque, but it feels like a present because it came wrapped up. Um, this is basically the Amazing People Award that I was awarded. What? Um, I've done a lot of charity work this year. I chose three charities incredibly close to my heart. Sorry if you can hear doors slamming. Um, number one is POTS UK, which is one of the illnesses that my brother suffers with. Um, Behind Closed Doors, which is a domestic abuse charity, again very close to my heart. And Mental Health UK. Um, and then we were also able to give Calderdale's Family Intervention Team 36 gifts to open on Christmas morning. So for me that is just like the most special present when I opened it. I was like that's amazing. It just shows that you can give back at Christmas and do really nice things and because last year my brother was so incredibly ill, we honestly had like the worst Christmas ever. Me and my mum both woke up this Christmas and we were like we just want my brother to have a good day. Stuff like this means a lot more. So thank you for sending me that. Okay, so sorry for the rambling. I ramble a lot. Um, this is probably one of my favourite presents. It's something I get every year and it's basically the first thing I open. Christmas pyjamas! If you watched my Boxing Day sales haul video yesterday, yesterday was it? 26th? Anyway, I'll link it below. You will probably remember my Christmas pyjamas and um, so I was wearing them. And I just love Christmas pyjamas. They just make me feel like a kid again and they make me really happy. By the way, I don't get dressed over Christmas so I'm actually wearing Christmas pyjamas underneath this as well. Um, but that's just the nicest present. I also got, my mum got me these made in America. I'm a child. I love gingerbread men and these have not left my feet apart from for today because I actually had to get dressed to film this video. Well, half dressed and it's little cute things like that that just mean so much to me like look little socks with gingerbread men on I just love like my socks and stuff and my pajamas at Christmas and for me it is genuinely about who's around the tree rather than what's under it but when I get cute stuff like this it's very nice so I just wasn't expecting anything so I'm gonna get moving now onto home stuff I got a lot of home stuff this year I'm very very overwhelmed um because I bought a house, for those of you that don't know. 
Um, so these are just beautiful. I think this is all in the sale now, so I'll link anything that I can do below. Um, I mean, these are like salad spoons. I don't even eat salad, but I'm gonna be, I'll probably just serve chocolate with these. Um, but no, how beautiful, rose gold. So you're gonna start to guess the theme of my house soon. These mugs are the nicest mugs I have ever seen. My mum did so good, they are beautiful. And wait, it gets better. Look at the green ones as well. How nice is this colour scheme? I'm so happy. I was literally like, mum, they are incredible. And then look, see this is all such boring adult stuff, but if you're into interior and homeware, I always wanted to be an interior designer, then this will excite you a lot. A little, I think you call it like a carafe. I don't know, judge me all you want, guys. Then again, you shouldn't be judging because it's Christmas. If you're gonna be nasty, because my hair looks horrendous, just don't do it over the Christmas period. I got so much trolling on YouTube on Christmas Eve, and I was like, geez, the trolls even troll on Christmas Eve. I thought that Christmas would, I don't know, bring a bit of light to people, but obviously not. Um, e and M, these are really cute, so it could either mean my name or me and Matt. Um, just how cute is that? Matt's my boyfriend, for those of you that don't know. Um, but these are so pretty, I'm tempted to order some more so that when people come I've got like loads of different ones, maybe not just saying my name. Matt's mum got me this, how cute is this? So this is a bottle opener and it's like the prettiest bottle opener ever, this is actually in the sale now. Um, I always feel really guilty when people buy me stuff and it goes into the sale. Um, and then some more placemats, how cute are these? So I have got like a few of each so that they obviously even out on the table but I didn't want to film everything. This is possibly the most special present ever. Louis Vuitton box um, and this was my birthday present from Matt. He was saying to me for ages and ages what do you want and I was like I just don't want anything and he was getting really annoyed with me because obviously me not wanting anything doesn't help him when he wants to get me something but I honestly feel like I either, I either have the things I want or if I really want something I'll kind of buy it for myself or I'm just kind of saving money and also I hate people spending money on me it makes me feel so awkward so uncomfortable and I just I'd just rather have a nice happy Christmas. I said to him, I was like, just come to a spin class with me or take me ice skating, that would be the best present. But Matt bought me a Louis Vuitton necklace, um, which is actually I'm really, really grateful for, of course, because I love Louis Vuitton. It's my first thing from them, but also it means I can wear it all the time and it's like a real kind of special thing that's always close to my heart. So I think that's really nice, um, but it's just so beautiful. It is reversible. And um, you've got the red side and then you've got the silver side, but how nice is the packaging? I was like, oh my goodness, if you've watched my birthday vlog, I did two birthday vlogs, um, you'll have seen that, but how special. Okay, what next? I'm trying to do this quickly. It is all just like homework <laughs> from my kitchen. These are really cute little plates. Um, I'm just obsessed with homework. It's really embarrassing. Look at this as a wine stopper. This is so cute. And then wait, wait, it gets even cuter. Look at these hooks! These are cloud hooks. I know, cloud hooks. They are incredible. So yeah, oh my gosh, I thought I'd broken it. No, I haven't. Um, I'm very overly excited about interior this year. And then look, I got these to store stuff in. Um, these are little plates. Eat, drink, enjoy. So yeah, you can all come round to mine for dinner because I've got the coolest interior of it all. Okay, I also got a lot of these. So I got three of these for people to have drinks out of, don't know if that's what they're designed for, but we're going to have goblets of drink, although they've gone a bit weird, they look, I think it's just because it's like copper, they look a bit dirty, um, but how beautiful and how special are these, I just love rose gold, it's really embarrassing, and then I've got this huge one, I like the store stuff in it or do drinks in it, I don't know, it's probably going to be more for storage, I mean I don't know what I'm going to put in it, but I don't really care, how beautiful. So special. Um, what else? I'm trying to like reach for stuff without going out to focus. These spoons are so beautiful. One pound it went to the Eve appeal as well, which is nice. So it's charity. Um, but how cute are these spoons? Matt was like, are they for show or are you actually going to use them? I was like, hmm, I think we'll have to actually use them. I'm trying to get through all of the house stuff. So this was totally, totally unexpected. This is like a cheese board slash serving board and my hairdresser's got me this for my birthday. I had a really like horrendously weird birthday mood wise just because loads of stuff went on. Um, and then I walked into my hairdresser's and they gave me this and I was so overwhelmed. I nearly cried. I was like, oh my goodness, you did not have to get me anything. How special. Um, I just can't believe it. Speaking of serving boards and cheese boards, this is so heavy. I don't know how Santa carried all of this stuff. And how gorgeous is this? So this is just like a board with rose gold, oh, round the sides. 
um, and I'm basically just going to serve stuff on it, but I'm so in love. Right, I don't want to throw this. Okay, last home thing, I think. My brother got me these. How amazing. How thoughtful. So apparently these are like the best glasses. I've never even thought about glasses. That's how unprepared I am. Look. Apparently these are the ones that they use at one of my favourite restaurants, so that was very thoughtful and my brother's done a lot of research to ensure that these are the best glasses for wine. I am a big fan of red wine. Gosh, I sound so adult, don't I? I'm only a kid. <laughs> I got some gold cutlery. I'm so excited. Gold cutlery. I was originally going just for a rose gold theme and now it's kind of like gold, rose gold, marble, pink, green. I don't know, it's just, it's just fun. Look at these cheese knives to go with my cheese board. How amazing, how beautiful. I feel like this is the most coordinated house ever, but these are so beautiful. My family did really good. Okay, what next? Whew. So, I got this for, from, my, uh, from my brother as a birthday present. Let me open it. This is basically so that when Matt and I go abroad, we can take those really cool, like underwater and overwater pictures with my GoPro. Apparently this is meant to be amazing. It's basically like a submarine for your GoPro. My brother's really good at getting me practical presents. Like somewhere on this bed, I have a memory card that he bought me. He gets me presents that no one else thinks to get me, but things that I actually need, but things that I'd never buy myself. <laughs> I actually got three of these this year because I asked every single person to get me one. So this is MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural Powder. I have been using this powder since I was about 15. I get it in shade medium dark, which always confuses people because when they're order it, ordering me it, they're like, do you want medium or dark? But it's just the name of one shade. I just use this as my powder every single day. I'm lost without it. I ran out and I was like, oh, I need more for Christmas so that I never run out. So I've got, I think I've got four of them now, so I should never run out all year long. I've got this book from Re, um, how amazing. So this is just a Re Nourish book all about eating well. And I'm really not one to preach healthy eating, particularly during Christmas time. I'm all about balance. And I saw something horrendous this morning on Twitter all about like, oh, you've eaten this many calories, burn them off. And it actually offends me. I find it so insulting. You should be able to sit and eat as many mince pies as you wish and just enjoy the festive period with your family. That's what it's about. You can go to the gym next week. It actually annoyed me so much. Um, but once January comes around, I am going to have a read of this because it's all about like eating healthy, not depriving yourself. It is not about being like, oh my God, let's count calories, which I am completely against. On the theme of the books, a friend bought me this for my birthday, how special, for my coffee table. It's actually such an amazing book. My boyfriend owns a clothing brand, so he's going to find this really interesting. And it's just beautiful. It's all about like the making of Gucci and everything about Gucci. I am obsessed with Gucci, so this is very, very, very special because now I can actually find out the story about Gucci, which is really exciting. Okay, what next? So, of course, I got lots of chocolate. I mean, I probably need to go to the gym because all the chocolate. Matt got me dairy milk buttons because chocolate buttons are my favourite. I'm obsessed with them. The bigger ones taste better than the little ones. Um, my mum always gets me hotel chocolate every year because they're so cute. Too cute to eat. <laughs> Everyone gets me cute chocolates because I know that I just like love cute things. Look at this snowman. Um, all the hotel chocolate which is just my favourite chocolate brand. Actually Dairy Milk and Hotel Chocolate because you just can't beat Dairy Milk. And then it's not Christmas without chocolate coins. I like traditional stuff. Um, this is a really lovely fragrance from Guerlain. Eau de Lingerie, it smells. Oh my goodness, I just broke it, it's so good. <sighs> Although when you first smell that spray perfume, it definitely smells like alcohol, but then once it settles, it smells better. Oh yeah, look, I always get these. Tiddly Parts from Hotel Chocolat. And um, do leave a comment below, guys, and let me know what you got. We are almost there. Dun, dun, dun. This came as the biggest shock ever. Because no one ever knows what to get me, and everyone kind of knows I'm moving house, my brother was like, I got you a Nutribullet, and I got you it's in white. And I was like, oh my goodness. I've always wanted a Nutribullet, like, my whole life, and I've never thought to kind of get one. It was one of those things that I kind of forgot, but I've always wanted one. So my brother just bought me one. I feel absolutely ridiculously spoiled, and I was like, you should not have spent that much money on me. To be fair, this Christmas, I was mainly excited 
to give my mum and my brother their presents because I paid for my brother to go back to Rudding Park which is literally our favourite hotel ever, it's the best spa and then I got my mum vouchers so that she can go back, oh my gosh do not break the Nutri-Wallet, so that she can go back and have a nice relaxing break because she needs it um, and then I also got her vouchers to go for to Betty's for afternoon tea and to go to Miller and Carter which she really wants to try for steak. Um, so I kind of wanted to, I hate giving people vouchers but actually my family love experiences so it was actually it went down really well and I totally shocked them with it so I'm really happy about that. Um, so that is it. I totally forgot to say I also got cushions. I'm in, in love with these cushions and I've been in love with them for ages and my mum got me two more which is in fact three more which is so nice because it means that I'm like all cushioned out now. I'm literally surrounded by the most Instagrammable prettiest presents ever. Um, I'd love it if you guys left a comment and let me know what you got for Christmas. Um, did you get anything that you really dreamt of? Did you get surprised by anything? Were you good? Did Santa get you nice things? I need to put my necklace on actually. I feel lost without it. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you didn't, then I'm sorry. Um, only love around here. No hate. Um, but thank you so much for watching, guys. And come say hi on Instagram at mshellax. I would love to have you. And do leave a comment and let me know if there's anything you'd like me to film. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.